Welcome to the UE4, the complete guide to creating and using procedural auto landscape materials. So by the end of this course, you will know how to create a complete auto landscape material that when you apply this material onto your terrain, it will automatically texture it based on the rules that you've set up. So on certain inclines of the terrain, it will switch to another texture without you having to paint anything manually. You will also be able to manually paint additional textures if you need to. And you will learn how to have foliage to be included to spawn automatically on a specific texture and on a specific angle of the terrain. So with this one material, you'll be able to texture your terrains and sculpt them in real time without having to paint any textures or apply any foliage yourself. Everything will be applied automatically. This course is now available to download and you'll find a link in the description box below or you can go to worldoflevel.design.com slash store to download. For the rest of this video, I want to show you what will be covered in the course and what you will learn. From the very first video, we're going to jump straight in and I'm going to show you how to create the most basic auto landscape material using the World Align Blend node. This node is going to be our core. The foundation that we build from. I'm going to show you how to adjust sharpness and bias which will control the sharpness between two textures and the slope of where the second texture is going to appear on. And from this basic setup we'll expand on to create a full complete auto landscape material. Then in the next few videos we're going to add in color textures and we're going to add in normal maps and roughness. This way you'll have a two texture auto landscape material with all the necessary maps that the material requires. Then we're going to begin to expand to add more functionality to the world align blend. I'm going to show you how to have edge control between the two texture blend. So instead of having the default blend from one texture to another, I'm going to show you how to control the softness of the blend and the transition between the two textures. And I will show you how to set this up using a noise texture. Then I'm going to show you how to create a material instance so you can adjust and control various parameters within the material through the material instance. So you'll be able to change the fuse textures and color of the textures. Then we're going to add in distance styling controls. So the textures look good up close and you don't see the noticeable repetition of the textures when you look further away into the terrain. Reducing texture tiling is very important for your landscape materials because by default the texture tiling is very noticeable. And I'm going to show you how to begin taking care of this problem and how to have these controls within the material instance so you can adjust them in real time and control the distance where that switch happens between the up close textures and the far away textures. And this will be controlled by a pixel depth distance setup. And then in the next video, I'm going to show you how to create from scratch a three texture auto landscape material. So you'll have an additional texture that will begin to show up on a steeper incline before it transitions into the third texture for a specific angle of the terrain. So this is a very important video because it's going to show you how to set this up with three textures. Next, I'm going to show you how to add the ability to have manually painted textures on top of your auto material. So this way you'll be able to add some paths or add additional detail on top of your auto material textures. Then I will show you how to add a texture based on height. This way you can have a texture that will appear at a specific height distance and automatically texture your terrain. So this might be perfect for things like snow on top of the mountains. And then I'm going to show you how to begin to add foliage to automatically spawn with your auto landscape material. So you can assign grass, flowers, trees, or any other static mesh that you want. And it will procedurally and automatically spawn on a specific texture depending how you set it up. So this way you never have to paint any foliage manually. And once the material has been applied to your terrain, it will spawn that foliage type automatically. And by the end, creating your landscapes will never be easier 
as they are with this complete auto landscape material. Download the complete guide to creating auto landscape materials entirely inside UE4.